Would you say then that in, this, in the case you're talking about, the fire from God is currently going through the temple and out to other people when you allow them to lighten you and you use that power for others? I think one application could be that. It's not the ultimate application. The ultimate will be at the end of a thousand years. But yes, I think right now, as being a pillar and a, a, a light, let your light so shine before men. You know the lamp in the temple sanctuary, symb symbology? There was a lamp stand, the center pillar made out of solid gold representing Christ. And six, six is the number of a man, man, six, 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 the number of man. There were six additional lights. And those six lights connected to the pillar make seven a perfect number. And the, 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 the individual bowls where the lamps are the heart of the believers and only the high priest would come morning and evening and trim the wick on those lamps, meaning that we let Christ in our heart and he trims away, circumcises the heart by the spirit and we become brighter lights for him. And thus in the temple, the light, the lamp was there, which is a, a relationship between godly people and Christ that shine a light out of the temple into the world that draw people to Christ. Yes, so the metaphor is there. And so this, the righteous are used to that. They're used to the flow. They're, they're um, you know, they've embodied that so that being in the holy temple in the New Jerusalem won't be anything new to them. Yeah, and so you see, doesn't that, isn't that cool imagery though? That you're to be a light to the world? That was a lamp, shine out into the courtyard, was to draw people into the light, part of it. Additionally, you're supposed to be a incense. When you burn the incense on the altar, the golden altar, your heart, it wafted out over the community and we are as a fragrant incense, it says, into the world, drawing people to Christ. It's all part of the symbolism.